In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS, fix FPS drops and stutters in Fortnite Chapter 4 with your NEPV. And also in this video, I'm gonna show you a best tool and the Fortnite high priority registry which you can use on your PC for getting the max FPS. So make sure to watch my this whole video. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and without wasting any time, let's dive straight into over this video. So, guys, in the first step, you need to download this Fortnite priority and the shut up 10, the latest update of this application on your uh, pc link available down in the description simply go on the website and there you will find out the same post with the same thumbnail of my this youtube video you are watching right now and you need to open up that post and download these files on your pc once you download so in the first step here we find out over a fortnite priority the file so double tap here open up this folder and inside here you will find out fortnite normal priority fortnite high priority and fortnite above normal priority if you have a low end pc i suggest you to go with the fortnite above normal priority and if you have a good pc and you want to improve your performance with the competitive so go for the fortnite high priority simply click yes click ok and here we are good to go for our next step now in the next step here is our next program which is the oo shut up 10 so you need to download this application and this is the latest version of this program so double tap here so once you open up this application so here you will find out this kind of the interface now it's very simple to use it so first of all here we find out our privacy tab then here is the activity history and the clipboard and here we go to the app privacy if you scroll down so there you will find out Microsoft Edge new version based on the Chromium then scroll down and here is some other legacy setting for the Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Office setting, a lot of guys settings for your Windows optimization. Now, how you can use it here, you can check it out with the recommended. Uh, you need to change this value and I'm going to show you a simple way you can do it by just simply one click go for this action button and there you will find out apply only recommended settings because if you do the more settings it will cause the crashing on your PC so therefore I suggest you to only go with the apply only recommended settings so click on this button and here it will ask you for creating a restore point it is highly and strongly recommended by me also to create a restore point on your PC so simply click yes and this will automatically create a restore point on your PC here our restore point is now finally successfully created now simply click on this close button and here it will ask you restart your pc for changing this effect click on this ok button and now click onto this restart window so guys once you restart your pc so guys now you need to do some more settings for your windows optimization and it is very simple you need to simply go for your uh, task manager and you need to go straight into the services tab now you need to press s from your keyboard and there you will find out system main options scroll, scroll down and there you will find out system main so right click here click on this open services now again press s from your keyboard and find out this is main now right click here go for the properties click on the stop button and here it will stop this process first of all now you need to go for the startup type and set it on to the disable apply and click ok what it will do it will actually uh, disable the windows super fetch and the prefetching file on your pc so now once you're done now close out the services tab and also close out the task manager now guys in the next step we are going to clear over all the super fetch available on our pc so now what you need to do you need to press windows r together from your keyboard and there you will find out this kind of window now you need to type here pre Fetch and press enter from your keyboard and there you will find out all these temporary files on your PC. Now press control there from your keyboard. I right click here, go for show more option and delete all those files available in the folder. Close out it, go for your recycle bin, click on the empty recycle bin and click yes. So guys, here we are good to go for launching our game and enjoying the best performance out of a pc now simply guys launch your fortnite or whatever game you want to play and enjoy the best performance out of your pc or laptop so i hope so you love it so please make sure to drop a like because it is great appreciation for me for making more content for you make sure to drop a like on this video and till at the next video peace out